As a little girl, I learned to skip back to the end of book and read that. For when I went back and read the chapter names, I was intuitive enough to figure out how the book would piece itself together. When I was older, I also learned that Sparks notes is a hell of a lot easier than learning why the river represented to Huck what life on land could not give him. <laughs> and when I tried to sweep away the eyelashes from the pages to wish for another day as my childhood faded to gray, I learned to love. I learned to cross the universes in a space inches between us, but seemed like light years away, for fear of growing too far apart, for fear of not recognizing you on your way back. I learned to pretend that I was old enough to understand why Juliet had reached her demise, or why Zeus had tore us from four eyes and four limbs to form an empty piece of a Matryoshka doll. The fit inside another facade, but not having enough to match the fate she had chose her own. However, you can only know star crossed when your stars have crossed, and when you know the stars have crossed, when you try to somehow shoot them down from the space of those light years away, but end up shooting down through the black holes between the dimensions of make sense, and can't even, because shooting too hard for a star that's too bright causes us to implode in the collisions between your oracle and mine. I read as a child, thinking love would just come, thinking this world was okay, and thinking that one day I'd find my true love. But sad that I did so, because foreshadowing kind of sucks. And for when I flip back to the end, pieces of charred pages and letters were my lust. They filled my palms with a storm of characters that wrote itself into a mixture of one part confusion and two parts passion with some fuck ups mixed in for good measure, so lonely to the point of exhilaration, but so deadly to the point of destruction. Meaningless, I love yous, trace the inside of my skull with unfinished stories etched out in a language that does not exist. They rack up my brain and pull my strings apart, but leave my emotions untouched, because sometimes love isn't always as mental as the shards of my heart seem to think it is. My stories till still send sirs down of limerence down my spine in radiating beats of adjectives and actions that begin after a beginning sentence and finishes somewhere between the, the end and another once upon a time. As a child, I read, and I fucking hated romance. Yeah.